Okay guys, I'll try to make this short and sweet. It's just to try to add a little color to the notes that I sent you on the Joe Bonamassa stuff that is at the beginning of set one. My thought is, even though you guys may, you know, we may decide as we go forward to put in some sort of little background stuff. My thought is we'll initially just have this guitar only intro. It's kind of a sneak up on them sort of thing. Uh, maybe they're not even really sure that I'm playing a song until we really kick into the drums. So it's, it's it, and you don't have, we don't have it anywhere in the recording. Uh, it's it's sort of like it's slower than that but I'm just trying to give you the idea and it'll end with And then with that harmonic, that's where the drums will kick in, and that's uh, what I've got at uh, 136. And from there, we go into Django. But notice we're starting at 136 on that. So the first part of what he does on the recording that I've got in the folder, I'm replacing with that guitar intro that I talked about. So we'll end that Django at 310 and it'll end with like, you know, hang on that E and then we'll go into which is at the 29 second mark, so we'll skip some of the stuff he does at the beginning of that video, go all the way to 428, which puts us to four times, just like he does. I'll speed it up. And then hang on that E and then kick into the 638 point okay so that skips out all the guitar hero stuff that he does in that two or three minutes between those two points and then from there just go to the end of the song with all the Led Zeppelin stuff and all that in there so that's how I had it mapped out in my head you guys can let me know what you think about that and we'll go from there thanks bye